Okay, I did another video where I showed how to set up a submix bus and an auxiliary bus uh, using a traditional approach, which is to have a track routed so it acts as, as those different buses. But you can also use a folder uh, to create a submix bus. And in some ways it's faster and more convenient to work with. So let me show you how that works in, in Reaper. And um, essentially there's no difference. So if you're using a folder and you've got a bunch of tracks inside a folder track, it's exactly like a submix. So here are my tracks right here. And here's my master, which I'm going to move over to the other side because that's just the way I like to work. It's a little bit more convenient. And then I'm going to add a new track, which is control T. Uh, add it right here. Control T. I'm not going to call it anything, but I'm going to give it a custom color so we we know it's the um, the bus track. Wow, that's not subtle. Okay, so let's change views over here to our uh, timeline view. All you need to do to create a folder track is to hit this plus sign right here, and you'll you'll notice there's a little folder icon. So let's hit that, and you notice it's visually changed. Uh, this chunk is gone. And it's got this, this is for viewing your uh, three different views of your folder. Um, but none of these tracks are actually in the folder yet. If we were to hit play, let's go back here. If we, were, if we were to hit play, we would just see that all three of these tracks are still routed to our master track. So let's just hit play. Okay, so that's not working. So what we need to do is select these. You can use your typical commands for selecting you can do shift click for a contiguous uh, group of tracks like this, get them all. If they weren't like that, you could use control click. Anyway, so let's grab them. And the important thing to note here is this blue horizontal line because that indicates where you're actually dropping these tracks. So let's click, drag, and you can see right now this blue horizontal line is underneath our folder track and it's also indented a little bit. And that means that when I let go of the mouse, they're all gonna end up in the folder. So here they are. And you can see Reaper has rearranged things. Put the folder track on top. This is just, it's just a good way to, I think, visually arrange them. Let me click on this. This will show us the three different views. This is the, this is the view that takes up the most space, where you've got access to a lot of uh, controls on the track. And then there's a smaller one, and then a very, very small one, which is almost like not seeing the tracks at all. Okay, let's go back here, and let's see if everything's working okay. So when we hit play, we should see that there's a level here in these tracks. There's a summed level over here in our folder track, which is essentially a submix bus, and then it's making it all the way over here. So... So that looks good. And just as a further test, let's just mute the submix. Um, now with submix is because it's series processing and there's no splitting of the channels. It's not like the auxiliary send. We shouldn't hear anything in the master. Uh, we shouldn't see any level in the master either. So let's do that. And hit play. There we go. And you can see, let me flip back here again. That absolutely nothing's coming through. And in fact, this folder track is muting all of these. All of these, uh, let's call them children tracks. Okay, let's undo that. Now, you could still route any of these tracks to, um, you could route them out to another track acting as a submix bus or an auxiliary send bus. You could route the folder track to an auxiliary um, an auxiliary bus or a submix bus that's it tends to get a little I like to keep my mixes pretty simple um, but just to let you know you're not limited in any way because these are in a folder track and then lastly uh, you would probably want to add something like a compressor or maybe an EQ over here same thing with a submix bus you would just hit your effects button choose your effects add come in here I'll just put on recomp okay and you can see the compressors here it's active 
And if we hit play and we bring down our threshold over here, we'll start seeing some gain reduction. That'll be the, um, the red, red lights over here. Let's do that. And you can see as I bring the threshold down, I'm compressing more and more. And this is our gain reduction over here. So it works exactly the same as a submix bus. Now let me talk about some of the things that are cool about the folder. You can set these folders up really quickly. And after they're set up, you could hit this icon again and bring them out of the folder. And this is no longer operating as a submix bus. So watch. Nothing's going through here. And if I want to mute these tracks, I have to mute them individually. But you can come back here and hit this button. And once it's set up, Reaper actually remembers, oh yeah, these were these were in this folder. So that's that's convenient. Another thing that's cool for editing purposes is all these tracks are basically grouped together now. So if I want to come in here and do some slicing and dicing, I just make sure I don't have one of these tracks selected. Because if I have one of these tracks selected, it'll just slice and dice the individual track, as I'll show you in a second here. OK, so now I'm just slicing that bottom track. But if you're up here and you try to slice, you'll notice that it's that these tracks that are inside the folder are, are acting like they're grouped. So that might be something convenient. The other thing that I've mentioned before is that visually what you're seeing up here is a sum of the tracks contained in the folder. Now this could be handy if you're trying to line something up. Like let's say I had a bass, let's say this was bass and this was kick, for example. You could come down here, grab um, a kick hit, and move it over a little bit. And you can see that up here, the summed audio is reflected. So it's kind of a nice, nice way to line things up sometimes. OK, thanks for watching. That's my take on folders in Reaper. Uh, it's something that I think I'm going to start using a lot more myself. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on my blog or um, up on YouTube.